Well, anyway, but like it's all, always worth um, staying out to browns, especially after dark, because you will get a lot of those um, fish coming up after dark, so I think you can have some pretty good times. So generally what you do, if you, you, you've done your lure fishing for the day and you want to mix it up and do a cube, I'd normally have one, let's pretty, it can be pretty hard, it depends on the boat. Some boats are a lot easier than others, depending on your drift to have two guys cubing. But generally you're better off nearly having one guy cubing, maybe a, um, a live bait down deeper, and then one up on the surface off a balloon. Absolutely. Um, and I mean, the thing with live baits as well, especially with, um, you know, bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, it doesn't always have to be the typical live baits that everyone thinks of, and yakas, slimy mackerel, things like that. Um, the amount of fish that I've, I've seen and heard caught on other things like, um, you know, Nana Guys, obviously an old school one that everyone used to use, Pike, um, Brim, Simon would love that one, um, Snapper, Taylor, things like that, um, things that you wouldn't think were bait. Um, leather jacket. Well, leather, leather jacket, jacket the worst thing you'd be um, fishing on ACC. The pending, the the pending the 15 later. kilo world record at the moment was on a live squid, a calamari caught in the, in the harbour. Um, so things like that that can actually, you wouldn't normally think, you always think with tuna it's going to be slimies or yakkers. Yeah. Um, you know, if you've got something alive in the tank, even if you caught flathead on the way out for on a 12 mile or something, you never know. Put that out. You never know. You can catch the big fish. See, Mike loves happen. mixing stuff up. See, that's right. <laughs> <what I mean. laughs> but but at, at the same time, saying that it works, it does work. Like, it's like, why the hell didn't I do that? But anyway, I, then I, I don't do it and I keep fishing your way. But anyway, did you want to blast one of these balloons, oh, Mike? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of, lot of, lot of guys with their... Get the party started. Get yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of guys with their balloons, they might put a light bit of cotton in that on there. Um, you can attach it to your swivel. Like this, this is probably the best way to do it. Like, just, just say that's your, your, your main line or whatever. And, and, you, and you put it out to where you want. I'd make a loop like that. And then you just tie your balloon on like so, as you normally do a balloon. Catch your finger in that. Yeah, yeah. There. And then, like, if you grab that there, Soon as the like just say the fish takes it, as soon as the fish takes it, just pop, pops it. It's meant to pop out and then just go. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why the other time they say you, you cut cut that little you knob. Cut the little knob out, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That worked really well. And, and you use different balloons depending on the wind as well. So <laughs> no reason you normally to use blue balloons. A pink balloon. Yeah, so these, these yellow balloons are only good in southerlies, so <laughs> just go out. The big ones work in the nor'easter. Don't yeah, listen to this man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but yeah, and they normally, and they normally just pull straight through, so it's a, it's nice and crisp. Like once again, yellowfin are finicky; they feel a bit of a tug or something like that. They could spit the bait out, um, and and so yeah, that, yeah, that vary your baits. Put as James said, one on the surface, feed it out a, a little way, you know, maybe let it swim for a bit, ten meters out, and then put the balloon on, send that out, let the wind drift it out the back of your cube trail. Yeah, the other one you can put small snapper lead on it. Sink it down, drop it down, you know, as far as you want, really, as far as you're comfortable with your line capacity, you can drop it anywhere up to 150 metres down. Um, it, but, you know, 30, 30 plus metres, and then put a balloon on it, and then drift that one out as well. That'll allow fish that might be, you know, a bit finicky coming up the trail, they'll see a live bait, and they might just throw, throw you know, all caution to the wind, hit that, and that might be a fish of the day. So it's definitely one way to do it. Um, the other thing as well, big baits, um, Cubing for yellowfin, bluefin, you got your bucket of cubes ready as soon as you hook up, start throwing, as soon as someone hooks up, just keep keep the trail going, keep yeah, the keep fish going. up, bring keep them up going. to the back of the boat. Um, last season we were catching, you know, we had 40 to 50 kilo bluefin at the back of the boat, you know, you could have patted them when they came past, 